we are watching is a ground effect vehicle made by Widgetworks. Anyone who has some familiarity with flying will notice a phenomenon. When flying very close to the ground, the wing gets extra lift with no extra drag. This phenomenon is called ground effect. It can be utilized to increase flying efficiency. Even birds are no strangers to ground effect. They fly close to water to conserve energy. A ground effect vehicle or GEV is a machine that is designed to fly close to land or water surface so as to take advantage of ground effect. There are a few schools of thought when it comes to GEV design. The Widgetworks GEV we see here uses a reverse delta wing design. It looks more like a conventional plane configuration than other types of GEVs. I'd like to try out this design first. Now, my challenge is this, can I make a model of this GEV and make it fly with a power-up module? Here is what I came up with. The airframe is made of foam plates. The reverse delta part of the wing is folded with a cut-off piece from a 26 cm foam plate. The two outward dihedral parts of the wing are curved to have some better than flat airfoils. The all-up weight of the model including the power-up module is about 15 grams. Can it fly? The short answer is yes, as we shall see in this video. However, I didn't really have the opportunity to explore its ground effect capability because it became disintegrated in a crash only seconds after the takeoff. Okay, here comes that very short test flight. Well. That's it. So much for the test flight. Although the test flight can hardly be claimed a success, I am still very excited to show it to you. Because, first of all, the ground effect part seemed to be working, if only for a very short period of time. Watching closely, we can see that there is a transition from a contact friction stage, to an air cushion stage, and then to a climbing stage. As the pilot, I could feel it, at first, the rudder control was not effective, and the turning of the model was due to some unequal friction on its left and right sides. Then we see the model track straight. That's when there was no more direct contact, and thus no more contact friction between the model and the floor. And the model accelerated with ease and soon gained enough speed to climb. And flew away. Secondly. I have happily found that the gym floor is a good surface for testing out ground effect ideas and the gym space is adequate for power up models. Maybe, I can try a couple of more ground effect models in this gym during winter time. After the crash, I flew my little right flyer indoor for the first time. I wanted to show its flying to you because I'd like to make up for the very short GEV test flight somehow. And the Wright brothers actually utilized ground effect to accomplish their very first flights in human history. It is said that's why the early Wright flyers didn't use dihedrals, which were popular among early airplanes. Those right flyers were designed to fly close to the ground surface and the ground effect could provide sufficient lateral stability without a dihedral. So, it is not totally off topic to show a right flyer flying in this video.